Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current MySQL version. We will install MySQL shell, server as well as workbench. So let's see. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type MySQL. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible, mysql.com. Click on it. Now we have reached the official website. Now guys go to download. After reaching downloads, go below. Here and click on MySQL Community GPL Downloads. Here it is. Now under MySQL Community Downloads, click on MySQL Installer for Windows. Now we have reached the installer section, the main section. Here is the current version 8.0.31. And it is for Windows, automatically selected. Here we have two versions. The first one is the community version, but we will go for the second one, 431 MB. Before that, here you can see it is written 32 bit, but we want for 64 bit. So do not worry, this version works for both 32 bit and 64 bit. Okay, click on the download. It's 431 MB. Now you don't need to log in and sign up here. Click on no thanks. And that's it, it will start the download. It's uh, 432 MB. Let's wait for a few seconds. So guys, we have successfully downloaded the installer. Click on it to install. Minimize. Now the installer will begin. Here is the setup type we want to, we will be choosing a setup type for MySQL. Here indirectly go to custom because we want to see what we are installing. We can select unselect, click on next. Now here is the select product section. Here we want MySQL server, available products, under available products. So I will click here, click the drop down again and here it is 8.0 and the following is the 8.0.31 version for 64 bit. Drag it, drag it here, the products to be installed. Now go to applications, click on workbench, click on MySQL workbench and do the same. Now goes the same for the last one shell. Click on the shell, shell and the last, the actual version. Click on here to drag. Now we have all the three server, workbench and shell. Click on next. Now it is ready to install. You can directly click execute here. So in this step, uh, it can also check for requirements and uh, it will install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. But we are already having that on our system. So we won't install it. Okay. Click on execute. Now it will install one by one. So the installation completed, click on next. Now product configuration ready to configure, yes, click on next. Okay, type and networking keep the same. The port number is 3306. Click on next again. Now password, use strong password, keep the default because it is recommended. Just click on next and let's see what will happen. Here it is. Counts and roles. So we will keep the default root account only. Root is the admin of the MySQL server. Add a password of your choice. It will be used later. You can also use my password here. And that's it. Remember this password. You can also create another user account except the root by clicking add user. So let's say you will add the name Amit, your own name or your own name. Click on localhost. Select the role. Let's say DB admin only and type a new password. Click on OK. But I won't do it because I don't need to add any user because I have my root. I am the admin of the system and the MySQL server now. So I'll directly click on next. Remember this password. I'm telling you again. Click on next. Windows service, MySQL Windows, uh, Windows service name is MySQL 80. It will start the MySQL server at system startup. Fine. Click on next. Now the new function server file permissions for the data folder wherein your database will get saved. Do you want MySQL installer to update the server file permissions for you? Keep the default. It will provide the full access to the admin. I am the admin of the system. So I'll keep it as it is. Click on next. Apply configuration step. Uh, it will apply each and every setting okay just before completely installing it click on execute 
Now you can see one by one it will perform the operations. So we have successfully installed MySQL Server 8.0.31. Click on Finish. Product configuration complete. Click on Next. Now installation is complete. It will start a Workbench and Shell on Startup, which is fine. Click on Finish. So Shell started after clicking Finish, and it will also start the Workbench. Okay. Now what we will do? We will go to the location where we installed MySQL. It was on the C drive, Program Files. Here in search for M, that is MySQL. Here it is MySQL. Click on it. Server bin. Copy this path. Now we will set the path also. Minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Now when you will type, here it is. Edit the system environment variables. You need to click on edit the system environment variables. Remember that. Click on open. Now go to System Properties, Advanced, by default selected. Click on Environment Variables. Now Environment Variables. Go to System Variables, Path. Double click. Click on New, and just right click and paste the same path. Okay, here it is. Which path? The following which we went through, and click on OK. Here is the path. Click on OK. The Win path. OK, and the last OK. Now we have successfully set up MySQL. Now you can go to Start. Type CMD. Click on Open to open the command prompt. Now, guys, type MySQL space hyphen hyphen version and press Enter. Here it is. We successfully installed MySQL. That's it. Now let us uh, type MySQL hyphen u. That is hyphen u is for user. So what was our user? It was root. And hyphen p p is for password. Press Enter. Okay. Now enter the same password which we entered before. If you remember, press Enter. Now you can see we have successfully started our MySQL, and the same is visible. Okay. Now let us uh, display some databases. The all the default databases by typing the command show databases semicolon press enter. Here are the default databases of MySQL. Let us create a new database. Create space database is the syntax. Enter any name for a database. I am entering AmitDB semicolon and press enter. One row affected query. Okay, that means we have successfully created it. Now, when I'll again type show databases, there will be five databases, not four. That is semicolon press enter. That is now we have we have our fifth database, AmitDB. This is how you can create a database on MySQL. If you want to learn how to create a table after this and perform all the operations, you can refer our MySQL tutorial for beginners. With that, go to Workbench, click on it, and you'll also enter the the workbench it is a ui for your mysql server you can also use this to create a database table and operation and perform operations everything we have added in the video description so guys in this video we saw how we can download and install mysql server shell and workbench on windows thank you for watching the video